on Riley B with SwagScout.com. Riley B. Here with Swayze hey. and Cisco. You just did an in-store sign at Lace in Boston. How'd it go? How's it meeting your fans? Oh, it's good, man. It's always good to, uh, to hang out with the fans. It's more of a hangout than a signing. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. I didn't know there was a signing until like minutes before. So then I tweeted. So someone handed you a pen. They're like, oh, damn, it's a signing. <laughs> so then I tweeted and like it kind of, it was a nice vibe, you know? So we're signed now. We're signed to Lace. It was more of a hand. They're going to put out all our records. They're funding all of our tours. Yes. We just signed the contract. <laughs> it looked like a poster. <laughs> so tonight you guys are kicking off your uh, Island in the Sun tour at the Middle East in Boston. Yeah, huh? You want to talk about what we can expect from the tour? Man, uh, you know what? Uh, if you've ever been to one of our shows, um, you know, we try to kick it up a notch every tour. So this one we definitely went in. You know, a bunch of new songs off the new record, and then went back to some oldies we never played. Yeah. So uh, just dipping into it. Cool. Yeah. And about the album, you uh, re released that in September. You had some uh, good features, uh, Sky Blue from LMFAO, Kendrick Lamar. You want to talk about the album as a whole and also working with those guys? Yeah, those guys are great. Um, we were actually with Sky Blue last night, partying and DJing and doing all that kind of cool stuff. Party um, rocking. Party rocking. <laughs> we're sorry for party rocking. Um, no, the album to, uh, is a great album. You know, it kind of um, is reminiscent of the first album, but I think the production is like totally stepped up, and just the whole concept of it is really dope. Just on some real beachy, like what everyone kind of wanted from us, and we kind of gave it to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. We went back. To, we went back to the roots. Cool. Speaking of the roots, you uh, want to talk about how you guys first linked up and started, you know, making music? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back. It's funny, like you know. <laughs> It's funny because you always have to go back in, uh, in interviews. That's like always a question. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I think everyone says that the I jumped on stage one time. But I I'm think, starting to believe it more now. I know, right? I mean, we thought we so thought bad. it was a myth, like right? You know what I mean? But now I think it was actual truth. <laughs> you know what I mean? We were just trying to escape the truth. Uh, right. No, but you know what? We're from a small town. Uh, we knew each other, kind of. Just in, it's a small circles, you know what I mean? He was always hustling. He had a band uh, called PIMP. That's right. He was hustling. He was hustling, <laughs> giving out the hats. Oh, yeah, he was promoting. Hats. He was promoting in the early days. Uh, and then my band was out there, White Star. And uh, we just crossed paths a couple times. And he jumped up. He freestyled with my drummer. And that was kind of when I saw he could rap. Yeah, the Malibu Inn is like the one place that, you know, anyone in Malibu or even L.A., it's just like a dope place to, dis to discover new people. Definitely. And, um... Well, we were at the end, and I was, I, I would, I always see Cisco's band because there would be always mad girls there, like, no matter what, you know what I mean? Like, just like, oh, shit, those ones are playing. Oh, yeah, damn. <laughs> so then, so, you know, I got a little tipsy, and I was like, yo, I'm about to capitalize on this shit. The mic was just sitting there glowing, like, calling my name. So I spit see, a couple it is rhymes. actual truth. No, but <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, finding out more details are coming out. Dude, that's amazing. No, you know what? And they were going to kick you off. They did kick me off. Oh, they, they did. They almost kicked me off. We were like, no, nah, let this roll rap. My boy Orby on the drums just busted a couple beats, and that was it. Yeah, it was pretty uh, that was pretty. Uh, that was it, man. Now we're in Boston at least, <laughs> however many years later. <laughs> cool. Uh, so what can everyone expect from you in the future? Man, um, in the future, just a lot more music, you know. Um, banana beat clothing. We got hats, glasses. Um... You know, good vibes, chilling. Yeah. yeah, always a lot of music. That's a good thing about us. We continually, continually make music, you know, together and um, and separately. So it's gonna be dope. Yeah, yeah. It, it was good to hear the W's in here today. Yeah, because we, you know, that was kind of one we just threw out for the fans too while we were making the new album. So it's cool to hear. And I'm like, damn, that's just kind of sick. <laughs> I like that shit. <laughs> Swagscout.com. Here is Shwayji and Cisco. Swag Scout. At Lace Boston, check it out. I know you hear me on the radio, and you see me in my video. Now you're trying to play me like a stereo. You got me blowing up your phone.